datus are the tissues of your body or the building materials of your body. So datus correspond to tissues in Western medicine. And here you see uh, the seven datus, rasa, rakta, mumsa, meda, asti, maja, shukra, artava. And they loosely correspond to the blood plasma, the red part of the blood, the muscles, the fat, the bones, the nerves, and the reproductive organs. So these tissues are the basic building blocks of your body. If you look at an organ, they're composed of muscle and there's blood in them or uh, bone or fat tissue. So it's kind of, this is what your body's made of. Um, the datus are the tissues that hold the body, uh, hold the organs together and create the structure of the body. So if you build a house, you use wood, concrete, wires, pipes, and sheetrock. If you build a body, you use blood, muscle, fat, bones, and nerves, etc. There are seven datus in Ayurveda. I mentioned already blood is separated into two. The lymph or plasma or white part of the blood and the red part of the blood. Reproductive tissue is a, considered a separate tissue. And each datu has a function. The lymphatic system carries all the nourishment. The red part of the blood, uh, rakta, carries enthusiasm and oxygenation. Mumsa, or the muscle, uh, plasters the body together and allows for mobility and strength. Fat, or meda, does lubrication, insulation, bulk, and beauty. Bone, or asti, provides support and structure and protection of vital organs. Nerves and bone marrow provide for sensation, communication, learning, and memory. And um, reproductive tissue, shukra or artava, uh, does the function as reproduction. <laughs> Sertamsis. The Sertamsis are the next part, and they're closely related to the datus because the Sertamsis are the management systems of your body, and they're kind of built on the tissues. And you'll see that there's a Sertamsi for each of the tissues, and then there's some more too. So um, the datu are the materials, and sertamsi is the management of the materials. And sertamsi loosely correspond to the different systems of the body in Western medicine, like the circulatory system, or the respiratory system, or the digestive system, etc. But in Ayurveda, those systems are organized a little differently. So here are the sertamsi. One, you, ha you have a sertamsi for energy management. You have a sortamsi for water management and a sortamsi for eating and digestive management. And those are called prana, am, ambu, and ana. Then, as I mentioned, you have one for each datu, like blood management, bone management, etc. One for each elimination pathway or each mala, like the uh, purisha, sveda, and mutra for urinary sweat and pooping. Then you have a uh, management system for the mind, for menstruation, and also for lactation. Sertamsi allow the different parts of the body to work together. And actually, Sertamsi literally translates to river. And so they're considered to be channels or rivers. And uh, they, they carry messages, nutrients, and hormones from one part of the body to another. So it's your body's transit system. And usually one sortamsi ends and another begins and things like that. Um, so yeah, sortamsi literally means channel or pathway. It's nadis, by the way, that mean river. And sortamsi and nadis go together. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's the sortamsi literally means channel. Most of what your body manages happens along pathways. Pathways down a nerve, along a blood vessel, in your digestive tract, etc. So even chemical messages that your body sends or hormonal messages travel down certain pathways. So like a river, many of the um, channels start small and then connect to form larger channels. Like your blood vessels work this way or your uh, respiratory tract. It, you know, starts as the little air sacs and then kind of collects and goes together to the big bronchial tubes. Um, every channel has a root in it, and that root is usually the governor. And then it has a pathway, the channel is a pathway, and then it has a mouth where it opens and where it emerges. <laughs>